A lot of conservative politics is driven by various forms of very weird and very deep sexual neurosis. Um, obviously, there's a massive amount of homophobia. There's a massive amount of transphobia. There's uh, basic misogyny. And it comes in a lot of different varieties. Maybe it's people suppressing their sexual desires. Maybe it's people um, uncomfortable with the pace of change in society. And then other times it might just be good old-fashioned, not so deep, very basic, Jesus Christ, this guy needs to get laid. And that brings us to really my favorite libertarian radio show host, Wayne Allen Root. This is a picture of him, uh, very 80s style, uh, though it's today. He's got a red power tie on. I don't know what kind of car he's sitting in front of. Uh, it's a Maserati. I, that's a Maserati. Uh, in some type of not, you know upscale house. I, I, the, I don't know if this is true, but the feeling I have about this guy is that this is like, you know, he rented the car and the house for like an hour for a photo shoot type of thing. And he probably, you know, I mean, I'm sure he's on his grift. I doubt he's struggling. Um, but I'm not sure he's quite thriving this much. We have some new sound of him and more of his deep insight about uh, gender, sex, and the same. This is the guy who talked about Megyn Kelly, and the whole subtext was, wow, this guy has probably done a sort of extraordinary amount of self-pleasuring to Megyn Kelly. So let's listen to this latest from Wayne Allen Root. Don't know what to say. They've never met a real man before. That was the way liberals treated me at Columbia University, you know? I was a real guy's guy and a football player, and I show up <laughs> at Columbia, and everybody's a wussy. A liberal, <laughs> spoiled brat, lucky sperm club pussycat. That's what they all are. And they don't know how to fight, and they don't know how to argue, uh, you know, except in, in weird liberal kind of ways. And they hate anything that, that anyone who has money, anyone who has power, anyone who owns a business. And then when you say to them, wait a minute, you're a little rich, spoiled brat from Great Neck, New York. I'll bet your parents are rich. Your parents own a business. Yeah, they do. <laughs> and what do you want to do with them? I want to take all their money away, too. Well, it's, that's convenient to say, but you lived on their money for the last 18, 19, 20 years. Now that you're at Columbia University, you're living on their money still. You live on their money because you're never going to win. So no one's ever going to take their money away, and you know it. So you're just saying that because you're a guy and there's women in the room and you want to have sex. <laughs> that, that's all it comes down to. That was the only reason that Bill Clinton ever attended all those peacenik rallies and smoked pot. These are all, you know, it's all BS is what it is. All these liberal guys, they just want to win over women and, and look you know, like a proud peacock in front of women because they know that liberal women want to hear this nonsense. Oh, my God, all I care about is poor people. <laughs> all I care about is poor people. And then they know tonight they're going to have sex. With some stupid liberal woman who's ugly in the first place, because more <laughs> liberal women are. <laughs> Can we replay that sound later on my show? As the, I will say, Wayne has a point here. If you ever, as a young person dating in a place like Brooklyn, and you just go to some bar or club or whatever, and the music is low enough, and I know Matt can attest to this too, there will be a row. Say there's like three, four tables. And you're on a date, and the person next to you is on a date. And there's a date. The amount of noise that we make as men when we're like, I just care so much about poor people, and then watching the woman that we're talking to, all of whom just disgusting, incredibly ugly, getting like red and flushed in the face with just sort of rabid sexual desire. As we talk about in this, you know, and, and not just talk about how we care about poor people, but we we have a high pitch <laughs> wine. Wayne's on there. What I love is I love the fusion of the fact that it's pure projection because Wayne Allen Root still clearly is like his entire dying. persona is about getting Wayne Allen yeah. Root laid. Yes, like please, somebody ironically act socialist and give Wayne Allen Root like at least you know a cop a feel on the guy it's getting critical and the other part that's hilarious is that he manages to promote a political vision when he's not complaining about never getting laid that would subconsciously complaining about never getting laid that would 
whose literally sole purpose is to ensure that the children of the hyper wealthy get money handed to them. That's like it. He resents the fuck out of those people, but all he does is carry water for them on his silly radio show when he's not bizarrely complaining about not getting laid. So Wayne Allen Root, sad. Hi, folks. Sam Cedar here. We still need your help on our Patreon page. YouTube ads have come back, but not nearly as much as we had before. So if you can help us out, any little bit helps. Head over to our Patreon page right at this URL, and you'll help us keep helping you by making videos.